Hey guys, this is Corey Bystead over at Bicious RV in Junction City, Oregon. I'm here to show you the Jayco North Point. This is a fantastic rig. It's a massive bang for your buck. Um, if I'm being completely honest, a lot of dealers have this product. So because of that, to be competitive, we kind of have to just start moving prices. This is a good buy. So all things Jayco right now are going for really good prices. You should see what we can do on them. That being said, let's move on. This is a Moride hitch. So, okay, so if you haven't heard about these, this is the connect, the blue parts, the connection point to your truck, the black parts, the connection point to the fifth wheel, all with a rubber pad in the middle. Okay, so this rubber pad is gonna absorb some of the impact, the sway, the chucking, all the random stuff that happens on a fifth wheel. The idea is that with this system, you're not gonna feel the fifth wheel influencing the chassis of your truck as badly as a random, a random standard pin box with none of that, it's just metal. Um, so that's, that's a massive benefit, I love it. Now, coming on over here, you get two propanes, one's on the other side and one's on this side. Look how massive it is. So that's a, that's a lot of propane. You have these jacks right here too. These are the hydraulics. Hydraulics are nice. The idea is that when this is extended at a longer length, um, it's still strong. Sometimes electrics, when they get extended really long, they get less stable. So that's a side effect. This is better with that. Also better torque, better power, it's stronger, they hold more weight. So um, they're just safer, more reliable. Are the electrics not safe and poorly made? No, but these are better. Better is better, right? So anyways, this is your bay. You'll notice we don't have a big bump right here making the floor this high because, you know, your tanks aren't there. Your tanks are somewhere else making it to where you can have your floor be this skinny. This is great. So this is a massive bay. Um, they also gave you this doorway that you can swipe. If you're the kind of guy that likes to work on their own cables or fifth wheels or plumbing or whatever you're doing, this is nice because you can access it and they didn't screw it all together keeping you out. So that makes it also easier for the tech that is gonna work on it if you don't wanna work out on it on your own. Just easier to get to stuff, less time, paying them for less, right? Slam latches. This is kind of cool. They gave you magnet based slam latches. So they're going to kind of like magnet to the wall. Magnets right here. Now this is a um, JBL speaker. So it's a good brand for speakers. You have one on both sides of this step. So that when you're sitting in your chairs, if you think about it, when you sit down, you're closer to head height. So you get to hear the music, you know, while you're sitting here. These are awesome steps. You've probably already seen them. Um, the shock right here makes it to where the, the steps is kind of bearing its own weight. So these are like weightless steps. You can lift them with your pinkies. So if you tell your kid, you know, get out of the truck, we forgot the step and go do the step, you know, he can do it without being like, Ugh. so that's nice. Now this is the rig. I absolutely love the color palette because it's like extra light and extra dark. It's just like this nice contrast. Now that does not mean that it's like all gloomy in here. It's very much, I think the word I'm looking for is like elegant. This is like an elegant look. One thing that I always notice that Jayco does is their paint that they do on the cabinetry is like glossy. It's like shiny. It's not matte. And, um, I don't know, it doesn't mean anything about quality, but I just think it looks cooler. It's just a personal, I mean, I guess what looks nice is subjective, right? I'm just telling you I'm a fan. So that being said, they have storage right here. This is a thing that honestly, like last year, brands started to do. This would just be a hollow box and they're like not using the space, like why? So, you know, they're not the first ones to do it, but they did it also. So anyways, this is also a bed. It's very comfortable though. The bed ones are never comfortable. This one is comfortable. Now you also have these love seats. Those are more comfortable than the bed one. This is also power reclining. So a lot of the times you'll have seating that's power and it'll have like heated functions and massage functions, but not power reclining. You still pull a string. 
So this is actually power reclining, heated, and massage. It's fully a power unit. That's great. Now over here you have a fireplace. Now you notice they did a two-tone cabinetry color. It's to try to separate your living room from your kitchen since they're so close to each other. So it's a, a designer idea. A couple brands do that now. I'm a fan of that idea. The TV packs away. So actually I have power to this rig. I can just show you. What was that, like 12 seconds? About 12 seconds, your TV's out of the way. You're not waiting for long. You get this thing right here and a window. A customer told me why they wanted this feature once. And she said, I like to watch movies, but I like my family too. And I was like, what? Just turn it off. And she's like, when you have this massive screen just sitting in here saying, turn me on and watch a movie, then you're just kind of like, you're just gonna hit it, you know? You're just gonna turn it on. When it's out of sight, out of mind, and I'm sitting right here and I see a window right there instead, you're just kind of like forced to like actually talk to people in the rig and like actually hang out. So it's a nice thing, you get both, right? It's a feng shui thing too, I think. Now there's also a little bass switch right here. You turn this up, you get a little more sub. If you like music and you're trying to like blast it or watch a movie and have big explosions, stuff here's a little thing this is probably confusing to you actually it was confusing to me at first but i found out what this is all about finally i was like why did they <laughs> i was like what the heck no this is actually you put this cutting board into here and this is designed to lock it in so it's like an extended counter that goes this far and it's a cutting board so that's really cool it's stored somewhere else i don't have it i would show it to you but now you have your cabinetry right here. You have the insignia. This is amazing. Four burners, they're massive. Use your pots you have at home. You don't have to buy smaller pots for your RV. Four burners. This is a massive... <laughs> Put a turkey in there. It works. Most RV... Okay, let's talk about this. Most RV things, this hinge is actually right here, halfway. So when I'm, when I'm opening this door and it's hinging halfway, you're not putting a turkey in there. Most people, when they have that oven, they just use the microwave all the time. So this hinge is at the floor. They call this a residential. That's really nice. You get the island. You get the massive sink. You get the spray thingy ma blobber that pulls out. I was wondering if there's anything in there. Uh, soap dispenser. Uh, cabinetry right here. That's a trash can spot. A lot of people buy their fifth wheels and they're like, okay, yay, where do I put the trash can? And that's like a problem for everyone. Um, you get this drawer that does pull out. This is also, okay, I'll just take them out. Let's just show you. This won't be a short video. I wanted it to be short. Everyone else does short videos. You can come to mine to watch my longer video. This is what's going on. Boom, place to cut stuff up place to put your wet dishes and they'll drain into the sink. Some drawers, look at this. This is like ready for your stuff. That's cool. You put your things in here and your silverware and then you put, you got a trash can built in. Like it's just ready for you to actually use this fifth wheel. Now, um, residential fish, fifth wheels, they kind of have an issue. You can't really run them on fifth wheels. Residential refrigerators, Gosh, I'm going too fast. You can't really run them on gas, so you don't have the option to go gas or electric. But the problem is gas and electric refrigerators are tiny, so people want the big residential one, but it's just electric, it's a problem. So they decided to do the bigger Norcold, so it's like basically residential sized, but it runs on both gas and electric. Why would you want anything else? That's what I think. You have a pantry right here. That's awesome. Has its own lighting for when you open the door. In here you have storage as well, cause you need that. This bump out, it's not wasted. It's, I'll show you on the other side. There's something going on there. Now, right here, there's a massive fuse box. So you had to lose one cubby, but things gotta fit somewhere, right? 
right here this is what's going on you have um, the fan switch this fan switch this is amazing if you don't know what this is this is your one touch control system and it's just like a touch screen this is a responsive touch screen it's not like a weird low budget one it's like your phone and basically you can just like here I'll do living room you can just like dim your lights out if you didn't see that and you can just like turn them on or off this is where everything is by the way you have like internet related stuff you have your power how much stuff you can check your fuel um, fuel why am I just going your tanks to see how full they are um, see right now they're all empty because this is a new product um, you can do your slide outs from this and it's such a simple interface you don't have to have a massive wall of buttons with this so that's really really nice it tells you the temperature by the way Wow one main light switch for all of them like that's so much better than just having a million oh look at this you know what that is you get a, a you sweep into that you use your foot to lift this and you sweep into that it vacuums it in and then you just use your foot to close it and then like no dust pans that's so nice shoe storage right here if you're like always getting the same flip-flops to run outside or whatever crocs or just real shoes none of those this is a real shoes <laughs> this is a sideways steps I really like that it, it helps you feel like you get to swipe in I don't know when I walk in and it's angling me this way but then I also still can go up it's just a good utilization of space so right here great idea every person should do this in their fifth wheel um, slide out sliding pocket doors like no inconveniencing the inside or the outside just slide now if you're like I don't like those because they're wobbly and they open and stuff um, I'm pretty sure you could just drive with how strong that magnet was and it would not flop if you're worried about it flopping around you have a tie down right here so you can drive and this will never move this is a better door just trust me now right here you have a porcelain toilet okay that's nice and wide that's actually wider than almost every toilet we have in any of these now you have a counter space right here, a sink that's raised up. Um, people like this sink, people don't. I'll tell you why I like it. Uh, Cause you can do your face. It's closer, it's up higher to your face, you know? It's got like this beautiful, I don't know. Do you like that? I do. Your shower. <laughs> you can like do that thing. You got a soap spot. You got a place to put your soaps. And then a seat right here. This holds an insane amount of weight. I've actually like jumped on this to prove a point before. So that's a really good spot for you to sit. You also have this cabinetry right here. So that's your bathroom. Let's move on because I just butchered that whole bathroom presentation. Now let's do a better job in the bedroom. Right here you get a king size bed. This is a slide out with your mattress. So you get all the floor space for you to walk around, maybe change your clothes and like, that's nice. You get a TV right here. You get your AC unit is pushing air out right here and out there. Um, massive window. This has roller shades. Okay. The blackout shade is nice. And then you have, um, oh, I didn't even notice. It says open here. What? You have watches? You get rings? Necklace? Put them in there. That works. I didn't know about that. I can uninstall these shelves and then I can put a stackable washer and dryer right here with these hookups. So if that's what you need, let me know. We'll talk about it. Now right here you have, you know, I'll show you like this. By the way, these are two doors so you can close it. I'm just doing them both. So you got our mirror on the mirror, mirror on the wall. Okay, check this out. This is your, you know, Hang your stuff, put your shoes in here, and here, and here, or whatever. You know, there's a spot right down low, an extra cubby right here. You know, all this floor space. You get this. Look at that. That's cool. For your dirty clothes. Stuff right here and here. This is a good closet. It's a good setup. You got power in there. You can plug stuff into it. That's right uh, there and there. 
And then um, you have the remote to all the stuff hanging off your bed. So that's really cool. Actually, you have one right here too. But I feel like you don't want to like just sit up and reach because you're too lazy. Uh, you're permitted to be lazy with having just another thing of the same thing right there. So everybody likes laziness, right? Murica. I want what I want and I want it now without trying. I mean, if you can get it right, let's just use it. This is a fantastic fifth wheel. Uh, big bang for your buck. It's built with basically Siri. You just yell, hey, Jayco, turn the lights off. And then it just wants to do it. So that's really, really cool. Um, so if you have any questions on this rig at all, um, let me know. Uh, my number is 541-735-1535. My name is Corey Bicet. I can help you. Um, I specialize in fifth wheels more than anything else. So reach out to me. I know a lot about this brand and our other brands, and I can help you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>